Hi everyone, so I'm now skiing on the Curve GT85, which is the widest ski in the GT range. 2,320 2, grams in a weight at 175 centimeters. I'm actually skiing a 175, 15 meter radius ski. It's also available in 161, 168, and 182. The dimensions on this one, it's 133 at the tip, it's 85 underfoot and 118 at the back. This ski can handle aggressive skiers, okay? It's a competent ski, but it's also playful and very easy to turn, smooth with extreme grip. We skied it earlier in the week on some frozen snow, pretty icy conditions. I was really impressed with the edge grip. You've got that E, e triple radius, um, aimed at an advanced skier, level seven to level nine on the Fisher Spectrum, so the top end. And again, it's 70% orientated for the piece, 30% orientated for the off-piece. But as you can see, we have been skiing the off-piece today in this very wet, slushy snow. The construction of the ski, what have we got? We've obviously got a sidewall sandwich construction that you would think of from any premium ski. We've got shaped TI 0.8, E-triple radius, a fiberglass bridge under the foot, which gives that control and that extra bite. We have an on-piece rocker on the tip, Beechwood core, M-Track plate binding, and then the sinted base. Overall, so far, as you can see me skiing on it, we're getting on quite well. just saw me skiing on the Curve GT85. As you can see in the video, I had no problems in the on-piste, the off-piste, short turns, long turns, carving. This was um, able to do it all. Now they say it's 70% on-piste, 30% off-piste kind of ski orientation. However, it performed everywhere I took it. Even in the soft spring conditions, it was really good because obviously you've got that 85 mil underfoot. It's pretty, I'd say it's averagely soft ski. It's not super stiff, but it does have plenty of torsional rigidity. I do know that when I, I did a very fast shoes a few days earlier, that there was no vibration in the tip of the ski. It didn't flap around at all. I found it easy to carve, very easy, playful, but it has got that very confidence building edge grip that Fisher talk about. The E triple radius obviously plays its part in getting the different radius turns, whether that be a short turn, a short carved turn, a long skidden carve or a carved, purely carved turn. I could do everything on this ski and it's a very nice ski to ski on. Not too heavy on the feet, even though this one is a 175. It's not too heavy. They do do a larger ski if you're looking for a taller ski, but this Exceptional performance, really enjoyed skiing on it. Um, I don't think it's a ski for me personally because 85 underfoot on the piece for me is a little bit too wide. It's more like a, an off-piece ski for me. But if you are a want to go everywhere, want to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that skier all over the mountain, then this is a ski to consider for the 2020, 2025 season. Um, different to the Redefine that I also tried. You can see that video as well. 
different builds, different components, and you can tell the difference in the two skis. Both skis perform very well, but you can see a difference in between the GT85 Redefine, which is the carbon, lower carbon emission ski, and then this, which is the new, the Curve GT85 for winter 2025. So yeah, great, great ski, great all round ski, a little bit wide underfoot for myself for everyday use, but yeah, I would, I would use it. Um, other than that, don't forget to check out the GT80 video that we're also gonna post. Go back and have a look at the GT85 Redefine. It's Andy for Snow Camp Short with the Curve GT85. Great ski, did what it said on the tin, and you'll have a great day all day, any snow conditions, any terrain skiing on this ski. Bye for now.